Okay, I'm going to show you how deep the Explorer SE can actually detect in air. Okay, I know this is not um, out in the field, so it really means nothing, but this is because of a question that was asked on the um, MLO forum. And I'm now going to demonstrate how deep my detector will go. And hopefully this will show if you've got any problems with yours. Okay, so here we have a Victorian penny. Okay, and I've set this up um, on a chair. Now there's obviously metal in this chair, but because it's not moving, that metal won't really register. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that's really not a very good signal there, but, but that is detectable. Okay, so tape measure, that was about there. And as you can see, that's just over 15 inches. So you sure you can see, you can see that. That there is just over 15 inches. Okay. Now, now what we've been saying is that you should definitely be able to have a strong signal at 12 inches. So I'll measure out 12 inches and show you what it will sound like there. Okay, so 12 inches is just there. Okay, and you certainly are not going to miss that. So that's a strong signal. And as I say, 15 inches is a bit of a weak signal. And if you're really working a good sight, You would dig that. And that is about there. And that, I have to pull that out a bit more. And that, believe it or not, is 18 inches. I don't know if you can see that. 18 inches. Okay, so that is, that is about as deep as it could go. So now I'm gonna show you that this isn't a trick. Okay, I've got here a medieval nail Okay, horrible things to reject. Sometimes these will be your, your, your false signals that you occasionally get. But I've set it up to discriminate. Hear that? Completely nulls. And if I come away, you probably will start detecting it eventually. There's a slight low signal. I've set it up on ferrous response. Okay, so pretty much you you wouldn't you wouldn't dig that no matter what. And close to the coil, of course, it will null it out completely. So I must admit, on some sites, I might even have a look at that at that sort of depth because that does start sounding like a, a hammered, a deep, deep hammered. But really, usually it's just background interference compared with the penny. A definite high pitch signal which you would definitely dig at 15 inches as if you were detecting in air okay Penny. now and penny together Nail and Penny together, not touching each other. Still 15 inches, so that's a nail and a penny and you will still get it. Okay, all this bullshit about uh, recovery rate and the Explorer, if it goes over a piece of iron, that, was, that it then won't detect anything for up to a foot is rubbish. Okay. Okay, that's a nail, and I'm not, I'm not touching the two together. There's the coin, there's the nail. 
Okay, so let's put the nail in front of the penny. Now I'm not going to comb that seam through that 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 nail. It's just that the actual the actual uh, mass of the coin is bigger than the nail, so it detects it no problems. And at 15 inches, this works with bigger now, bigger pieces. Now this is a, a great big chunk of iron. Okay, nails out, might get a bit of a scratch. Oh, that nails out to 12 inches, no problems. You're not going to dig it. Take the penny, put it with the with that, so they're not actually touching. Okay, it's changed the tone of the actual coin. Okay, that's why you've got to be careful. It's no longer high pitched, so it's dropped the actual pitch of the coin. But you'd still detect that, and you'd still dig it. Repeatable, and close to 15 inches. And that is a big piece of iron with, with the penny.